Hey guys, welcome to an exciting new tutorial brought to you by Techtopia. In this Vegas tutorial, we're going to create an energy blast effect. It's really, really cool and uh, we're really going to push Vegas to its limits because Vegas isn't really meant to create these kind of effects or anything. It's more just uh, for putting your uh, clips into movies, not really creating special effects. But let me show you a taste of what we're going to be creating today. Just a second here. Watch. So it's pretty cool. Uh, that green flash at the end, by the way, uh, I wish I could zoom or show you, but let me play it again. So you saw that green flash there. That green flash, uh, I guess it didn't turn out too good, but I was just trying to simulate the effect of the energy ball crashing into a wall and then the whole room lit up or something. So uh, I guess I won't put that in the tutorial, but I'll show you how to put the energy ball in your hands and how to shoot the energy ball out. So this is going to be a two-part tutorial. Uh, the first part, and which is this part, uh, we're going to just be creating the energy ball. And in the second part, we're going to put the energy ball in our hands and shoot it out of our fists or hands or whatever. Uh, I got the idea of this tutorial from a Kamehameha Effect tutorial that I saw in uh, After Effects. And I thought, well, maybe I should do it in Sony Vegas. However, it isn't really a Kamehameha Effect because, uh, uh, well, I don't really know what is a Kamehameha a Kamehameha effect because I don't watch uh, whatever show that's from but anyways so uh, this is my best attempt at it I'm just gonna call it an energy blast cuz uh, it doesn't look anything like the one I saw in After Effects but anyways let's get started so in this part let's create our energy ball so to create the energy ball we're gonna go to media generators color gradient and we're gonna find this one here elliptical white to black okay drag that into your timeline and now we can edit this uh, media generator so make sure that you're selected on your number two control point just click this number two in here there, like there's this box here then it shows your preview just hit the two the number two just click on it now what we're gonna do is change this distance because right now our shape is more of an oval and we want it to be a perfect circle so I'm gonna change this one to 260 okay so 0 0.260 okay and now up here where it says aspect ratio angle I'm changing this to fif or 50, yeah, just 50. So the color point properties, the distance is 0 0.260 and the aspect ratio is 50. And I don't know, you can uh, modify those settings to get a really perfect circle, but uh, I like it to be somewhat of an oval, but that's totally up to you. So, all right, now I'm going to go up here to my number one control point and uh, I'm going to change the color to whatever I want. I like this uh, kind of a lime greenish color. It looks pretty cool. But you can use whatever color you want. You can have a reddish tone, a blue, yellow. I'm just going to go with a green though. Alright, so this is what you should have so far. Simply uh, a little ball. But uh, what we're going to do now is duplicate this track. So just right click on your track and hit duplicate track. Alright, so now we should have two identical copies of our green ball. Now what we're going to do is uh, simulate the effect of it kind of forming and moving and stuff. So I'm going to insert a new video track. So just right click your timeline, hit insert video track. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is go to noise texture and drag standard noise. Now uh, normally you're going to want to change the color and everything, but you're actually not in this example. So don't change the color or anything. The only thing we're going to do is place a keyframe. So take your keyframe slider and put it to the very end and put progress and degrees to full. Uh, if you're kind of new to keyframing and you don't really know what I'm talking about, you can check out my other tutorials to learn all this stuff. So, because this is quite an advanced effect. So now you should have your standard noise moving around. And now what we got to do is put it on the ball. So what we're going to do is change our compositing mode. So by the way, this is only available in Sony Vegas Pro. So please don't send me complaints that you can't do this in your version of Vegas because it's not my fault, it's your fault. So I'm going to change my compositing mode by clicking this green icon here. And I'm going to change my compositing mode to overlay. Alright, so change your compositing mode to overlay. This is what you should have so far. A nice, cool ball that's kind of forming. And uh, we're almost done with the ball. Now what we're going to do is change our compositing mode to uh, number track number two. Our copy of our green ball, we're going to change the compositing mode to hard light. And this uh, kind of shrinks it down and uh, makes it blend a bit better with it. And there you go. So that's 
basically it for the energy ball, but I'm going to add one more filter to it to really enhance it. I'm going to go to my video effects tab, and let's go to, uh, where are you? Bump map, and drag in spotlight up flat. And we're going to drag this onto our noise texture, or uh, what is that? Standard noise, sorry. Okay. So now what we're going to do is uh, have this focus at zero and put a keyframe at about the two second mark or two and a half second mark. Now we're going to put the focus on full. The ambience is going to be up a bit as well as the shininess and this uh, slider thing is going to go all the way up. Now what's this going to do? It's going to start off as a complete solid hard ball and then it's going to form into this, you know, energy l thing. Like just look. So as you see that kind of splits up and it makes a really cool effect. So that's basically it for the energy ball. So stay tuned for next the next tutorial where we will put this energy ball into our fists of fury and unleash the wrath of God onto your best friend's head. Uh, I don't know what kind of effect you're going to be wanting for your movie, but basically that's our energy ball. I'll play it back for you one more time. So it kind of forms up and it's uh, just a little energy ball. You can make it more circular if you want by uh, changing the overall shape of it by simply going up here and then, you know, changing the shape of it and stuff, but I don't know, I think it looks pretty good. One more time for good luck. Alright, as you see, it's an energy ball. So, but that's basically it for creating the energy ball. So in the next tutorial, I will show you how to put the energy ball in your hands and then you can release it or, uh, you know, anyways, so thanks for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments relating to the video, post a comment below and I'll try and help you out if I can. Uh, rate the video, comment on it, subscribe to my videos. I have tons of tutorials like this that you should check out if you aren't familiar with me already. Anyways, thanks for watching this Techtopia tutorial. Stay tuned for part two. Thanks for watching and take care.